Hey guys, welcome to this special video where I went into my second account and played with my Mexico team. Uh, if you guys don't know, um, this is the squad I'm using, but I use I was using the 4-2-3-1-2 uh, formation, which is my favorite formation on the game. I just like it, but I was having a lot of trouble uh, winning games, so... I decided to go to something similar so uh, because I used the 433 on FIFA 13 and I did pretty good. I think it was the first FIFA I reached uh, Division 1 on. So I went back to a 433 and I wanted a center defensive mid. So I put Pizarro there since he had the most defending. I think he has a 78 defending so they put him, put him there guys. And we needed to add a contract to Enrique Perez, uh, one of my favorite right backs here on the game silver inform and we came up against a uh, USA guy here um, he was complaining during the game I don't know if you guys will be able to hear him uh, because I was like my players were stealing the ball away from him uh, but he was using a false nine uh, like you guys could see right here uh, but right here we got a first opportunity right away I just like my custom tactic and it looks they uh, they they work great for this formation in my opinion but the thing is that i'm always having that thought on my mind that i want to be using the 4231 i'm just like i just want to use that formation i want i want the 4231 to work as well as this been working for me i don't know why but we were up one zero there guys then this guy right here he was pushing and pulling me with um with his player, then pass it to Carlos Vela, almost scored an amazing goal. So they have no idea how in the world he didn't play against Germany. Um, I don't know, just so sorry stuff there. And right here, Alan Pulido puts it in the back of the net. One of my favorite players at the end of FIFA here. Uh, actually, it was Pizarro. I thought it was Alan Pulido. Uh, they look similar to me. But, uh, yeah, you guys will see Alan Pulido scoring. But Pizarro scores that one. My center defensive mid. Right here, Pulido, guys. This takes out the whole defense. But he couldn't finish there. Um, also, being very good for me, for my team. Right here, guys, at the end of the game. Almost did an amazing play with, uh, actually, Orbelin Pineda. But like you guys can see there, we didn't end up finishing that one. And right here, guys, the game does come to an end. And we walk out with the victory. 2-0. Uh, uh, of course, Lozano and Vela got injured. So I'm actually been thinking of selling my record breaker, Hernandez Chicharito. Because I'm not using them on this squad. So I don't know about that. Our second opponent was a fake Madrid. That, that's, that was the name of his team. Fake Madrid. Uh, he had, like I said, he had Dembele. Actually, Dembele follows Liga Max. Like, I was surprised about that. Uh, I've seen a couple of his Instagram posts about that. So, kind of nice he follows Liga Max. Um, and then right here, guys, um, he did a pretty good play. Like, you guys could see Enrique Perez just goes in front of him, doesn't let him, let him do nothing. And then his balling was saving a lot of his shots. But right here, guys, a uh, very nice pass to Alan Pulido, Alan Pulido to Marquito, Joy Fabian de la Mora, and look at that goal. If you guys can, the, I hope you guys saw the goal he did against Germany. Uh, man, like, he, he, I think a lot of the people that don't know him got surprised of his shot, but we in Chivas see him done, done a lot of those shots. So for us, it wasn't a surprise because we know what Marco Fabian can do. He is basically known for his long shots. Um, but yeah, guys, we did lost the game. Right here, Layun did a pretty good uh, getting the ball back from my opponent, and this will lead into a counter attack. Look at that Pizarro with the pace. He just takes defenders, and there it is going to be a very nice pass to Carlitos Vela. And then Pizarro had the opportunity to finish it, and he ended up missing. Then right here, Cota with a uh, very good save, although it wasn't that amazing of a save. And we get a counterattack. Pulido right here with the ball. Sees Orbelaus, Orbelin Pineda, El Maguito with the shot. And he's not going to miss that one. I don't know why. 
Orbelin is a good playing as a CM, but when I play him as a left mid, he's just an amazing player, but also be loving him as a CM right here. He scored that beautiful goal. And look at this place from El Cracky. That was going to be a golazo from Orbelin. El Cracky just did an amazing pass. Uh, right here, it was halftime, guys. Decided to uh, did a sub. We're going to give a chance to um, Chicharito play on the left wing, where he used to play in Chiba's sub uh, 15 and sub 17 alongside Carlitos Vela guys uh, right here Orbelin Pineda with the shot that goes wide not problem for my opponent uh, right here guys they get this chance but I always have a very good defenders um, but right here they didn't do that thing he tried to chip Cota of course Cota was very good there and right here this is what I'm talking about all oh, uh, Pulido guys Pulido with a shot he misses but that was gonna be a great opportunity to score for him but he is very good for me I don't know why I feel like he's better of a striker in the game uh, than Chicharito for some reason right here guys look at this Chicharito wide open and hey, how in the world did Ballin fucking save that how in the world like that's controller breaker if I wasn't winning like I would be so pissed off but I was winning already on the game but Ballin saving that one it's just like unreal Right here, guys, uh, another great play. Orbelaus to Pulido, and Pulido's gonna chip that one, and Ballin is not ever gonna get to that one. So, there it is. Uh, Pulido scoring that goal, guys, to make it 3 0. Of course, we're gonna celebrate with El Matador Hernandez. We haven't actually used him. I think I have 20 loans on him, and I don't know why. I just don't like using loan players. I don't even know if I'm gonna use my loan players on FIFA 18, to be honest, because I just don't like using loan players. I don't know why. Is it, I, well, I know it's because I think if I get used to it, I wanna, wanna be played with them, and I, I won't have the coins to buy them but right here guys you guys can see Cota saves us from that goal and then Orbelin Pineda guys with this shot he's never gonna get to that one and Orbelaus with the with his celebration he actually does the celebration the flips so look at that goal from Orbelin Pineda El Maguito scoring that goal so a very very nice CM for me in, in this squad guys uh, which is the squad I'm currently using right here nice pass to Orbelin Orbelin with a ball sees uh, Pulido and Pulido just puts it in the back of the net not a problem to make it 5 0 with this was a goliza now look at that that nice goal there from Pulido to make it 5 0 guys and Bolin 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 wasn't gonna do anything like one thing about Bolin is that he does a lot of saves but I usually score a lot on him too so he does save some but I do score on him right here uh, one last opportunity Bolin very good uh, actually catching the ball uh, he gets this opportunity but the ref sets the end of the game and we actually gonna walk out with the victory 9.5 for Orbelaus of, co of course Orbelin is gonna I'm gonna take that man of the match 9.5 to go Everybody play good, I think, except for Chicharito and Lozano. We get that 7k bonus for winning that title, guys. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, guys. Here are the stats of uh, my Pulido. 45 games, 43 goals, 20 assists. So, he's been pretty good. So, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Adios.